press start streaming. Fingers crossed it works and people can hear me. I went live early just in case. I can see it. Maybe we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. It worked. I had, there's always like something when we're setting up the baking stream. So, um, I'm relieved that it worked this time. No problems. Everything's fine. We have some stuff to do. Um, we can hear you, but the mic sounds a little fuzzy. Is it like, like normal fuzzy or like, I don't know. Can anyone cross check a previous baking stream? <laughs> Does it sound like the other if baking streams? If it sounds streams? like the other ones, then it's fine. Cause it might, it's gonna just be kind of echoey cause we're in the kitchen. So there's like levels to it that can't be fixed, <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. You think it sounds fine? All right. That's good. I'm relieved. It's probably fine. Okay. Thanks, Dan. I think we're good then. Okay. Yay! Okay. Everything's fine. Maybe, is there a kitten who's easily accessible? Oh, on the tree. I don't want to take her out the tree. I feel bad. Anyway, there's multiple cats in this house right now. Dan just tried to get shrimp for you, but he ran into the bedroom. So <laughs> sorry, everyone. Anyway, here's the plan. I warn you now, today is going to be a, a rather unsatisfying baking stream because we're going to bake a pie that I will not cut into until tomorrow. <laughs> and we're going to start baking bread, but I'm going to let it rise overnight in the fridge. So we're going to do like two things that we won't finish together, <laughs> but, but we have to do some prep work for, for Thanksgiving. So, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry, but we're going to be in this together. I know a lot of you are probably also baking or, or working on cooking stuff today. So, um, it's okay if I use the fridge for water. Yeah. They won't be able to hear it. Maybe they will. I don't know. We'll see, but I'll, I'll post some pictures like in the discord and stuff so that you can see you just spilled that. Dan, you're gonna, you got water in my cookbook. <sighs> you're so chaotic. Okay. Bye. Use those Try two to, to dry things. But these two towels? I'll act as the okay. I'll act as if I use them to do the dishes. Okay. Bye, Dan. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Hold on, everyone. Come here, buddy. Dan, I think he's got something. You should check on him. I think he's got something. He's by the chair. <sighs> okay, anyway, everyone, baking. So here's the deal. We're gonna bake a pumpkin pie, and then we're gonna bake, I have Claire Staffett's dessert person. We're gonna bake soft and crispy focaccia. So those are the two plans, except we're not gonna bake this today. We're gonna make it, and then we'll bake it tomorrow. <laughs> so, so unfortunately, we can't do everything together right now. <laughs> but it's gonna be fine. Since when did you put this chair on a coaster? It's been on a coaster the whole time because it's on the carpet on three legs, but not on four. I didn't know you put it on a coaster. Yeah, because I needed like this much extra height. Dan, would you please stop embarrassing me? <laughs> stop saying things that they don't need to know about. <laughs> Basically, I moved the one of the chairs in the living room. I put it on like the other corner of the living room because there's a Christmas tree where it usually is. And I had to, it was like wobbly. So I put it, I put one of the legs on a coaster so that it wouldn't wobble anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, we have to start. I think, I think I'm going to start with the pie filling. I think we'll begin with the pie filling, um, just so we can set it to the side and then we'll move on from there. Um, or maybe we start with the pie, the pie crust. And eh, let's start with the pie crust. Okay. We're going to start with pie crust. It's fine. The beginning of these things is always kind of like a mess. Um, so let me pull it up. We're going to use a Nora cooks recipe for this. I've used, uh, this recipe many times before, um, for like multiple Thanksgivings in the past. Um, and I've used this pie crust recipe many times as well. So it won't be too bad. Um, Nora cooks pie crust. I also have the recipes linked in the chat, but I can't access the chat. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> okay. Pie crust. Yay. Okay. So this is going to be pretty easy. We're going to use the food processor. Um, let me get some stuff out for us. Hi, shrimp. Shrimp has had quite a day. He put, well, there's two things that happened to shrimp today. 
first I spilled water on him, but it was his fault. Cause I was, I was refilling like one of their water dishes. Um, and I went to go set it down and then he like knocked his head into my arm, water all over shrimp. So he had a bit of an incident. I did spill water on shrimp, but it, he did it. It was him. Um, and then he put his mouse in the water bowl. So now his mouse is wet. So anyway, what did I say I was going to get? Sugar. Okay. Here we go. Trip is innocent. <laughs> he yearns for the sewers is what it is. Okay. Um, I need to get flour, sugar. We also want to get out some salt. We need butter, ice water. Okay. Salt. Oops. Well, how are you all doing? Good, I hope. How much butter do I need? I got some for us. Okay. I don't know if your shrimp has a delay or not. Well, Plumby, you just typed that a second ago. So you, uh-uh, shrimp. You can't go in the cabinet. I have to remember to keep the cabinets closed during my baking streams now that there's kittens in the house. Normally, before this, it wasn't as big of a deal. <laughs> um, okay, so let me show you the counter really fast. Which one is it? No. There. This is more than we need, probably. But I'm just going to take it out anyway, because it's a good start. So, anyway, there we go. Ice water. I'm going to put it in a bowl. That'll be easier. Okay, the important part about pie crust, wait. I use the ice maker in the fridge. The important part about pie crust is that we have to make sure it's cold. Because if it gets too warm when I'm trying to roll it out and work with my hands, um, does it keep freezing for anyone else or is it just me? Oh, well, it says I've dropped zero frames. So I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna want this, I'm gonna want this. These are for later so that we can roll it out. Right. And then I feel so naughty when Kayla leaves. Like what when I walk away? <laughs> All of a sudden you're alone in my kitchen. <laughs> okay, um, food processor, okay. This part is gonna be maybe a little bit loud, so I'll try and keep it far away from the camera. Also, if it's dirty, don't judge me, okay? I used it last night because I made chili. So, I did wash it, but maybe I could have washed it better. <laughs> it's awkward when I leave, oh really? Oh my goodness, okay. We should be good to go then. So we're gonna make the pie crust in this food processor, which will make things kind of easy for us. <laughs> and Caleb proceeds to leave again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like the cat cam today. All right. Um, all right, all right. I didn't leave that far, I promise. I was just in the drawer. So we're making pumpkin pie. That is the vibes. Um, it's going to be quite easy. We we'll start with pie crust, um, and then we go from there. So we have to add flour, sugar, and salt to the food processor. It's easy. Step one. You're having mixed bean chili this week? Yeah, just like a, me and Dan usually make like a three bean sort of chili as well. All right. Oh, I've been touching cats. Hold on. Let me wash my hands. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. I'm still here. I'm just next to you. Weigh the dry goods. Weigh the dry goods. I'm not going to weigh it for the pie crust. There is a scale out right now for when I make the bread. I'm not gonna weigh it for the pie crust. Um, you can panic about that all you would like. <laughs> I'm not going to. Nora has given me this recipe in cups. So that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> okay, so we need one and a half cups of flour. We start there. Okay, that's one half cup. When you do baking streams, people mean well, but the like backseat baking is so funny. They really like to make their opinions known. Okay, that is one and a half cups of flour. Also, other disclaimer, we're gonna have to talk about this a lot today. I'm making a vegan recipe. 
So it might be different from what you expect and it might be different from what you would do. And that's okay. Um, it's just different from what a lot of people are used to. So if you make pie all the time and you're like, oh my God, Kayla, you're ruining it. You're so stupid. Well, it's going to be a little different. So can we change the camera angle? What from this? No, you can have this. <laughs> I can't move this because I want to keep it far away from the mic. Um, I'm just going to mix, mix, mix in the food processor. So you'll just have to take my word for it that I'm doing it. I, I don't, I can't really put it closer because I don't want you to have to listen to it. So, okay, that is one teaspoon of sugar. Very small amount. All right, this is better. Okay, we can have full cam for this part. One quarter teaspoon of salt. All right, how many of you are also perhaps working on cooking something tonight? Anybody? I figure probably a fair few of you. Um, we're making a pumpkin pie, Sarah. We're starting with the pie crust. All right, so this, I just have to pulse this like twice, okay? It's not gonna be too bad. This is just dry ingredients right now. So I only have to pulse it like two times to mix, mix, mix. Them. Okay. It's gonna be louder probably when I mix the butter and stuff in there. Um, okay, so next we need a quarter cup of vegan butter and a quarter cup of vegetable shortening. Not gonna do that. What we will do is um, just use vegan butter for the whole thing. Um, so one half cup is just one of these. So that makes things easy. No need to panic. I've done it before. This is not my first time making this recipe, I promise. Oh yeah, I have a Santa mug and little Christmas trees. And that thing says, can't catch me. And it's a gingerbread man. <laughs> so <laughs> your first baking stream, this is chaotic. Yeah, it kind of is. It's usually more chaotic in the beginning. I'll say that much. Um, because like in the beginning, we're, we're, you know, setting up and, and figuring things out and stuff. So it sometimes takes a second. Okay, let's not touch that too much. I'm gonna put this into little chunks. One, two, doesn't matter. All right. And at the end it's chaotic because of the mess. That's true, it just is chaotic. It's hard, when you're baking on stream, it's hard for me to like keep up with the cleaning as I go when I'm live streaming it. Um, because like, I'm just, I'm live streaming. <laughs> So, um, I'm, I'm not the best with, uh, making sure that we're careful about that. I just kind of like set stuff away off to the side and then I'm like, oh my God, we have a million things to deal with. Okay. So the next step of this is, um, unsurprisingly just to mix this a little bit, um, until it looks like coarse meal. So this might be loud. Okay. Also, no, you can't take for it. Oh, it did get flour everywhere. Cool. Are you mixed, mixed, mixed? Maybe a little more. Oh, there's my butter and my flour and stuff. Um, now we have to drizzle in three tablespoons of ice cold water. When it begins to clump together, stop. You may need to add one more tablespoon of ice water for it to come together. So this is where we have to be really careful, okay? I have ice and water in this bowl and I'm gonna get three tablespoons. I'm scared of just letting it run because it's gonna put flour everywhere. Okay. I'm sorry, I know that sounds really strange. Look. I know, it's weird. 
It's done now. <laughs> we had to get through that. Now it's not gonna be as bad anymore. <laughs> we just had to get through that part together. <laughs> I'll, I'll put the rest of it together by hand, so. Um, it sounded like a drain. Oh, did it? That's kind of weird. All right, then we just mix, 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 and then roll this out um, and transfer it to a pie plate. The kittens, the kittens did not even react to that in the slightest. They're both, I have two cat trees in here. There's one there and then one there. Two cats in the cat tree, both staring at me. Snap, I think, is upstairs, but, um, okay. Next. I'm gonna use this so I can roll it out. Kittens didn't care about the sound. That's new for them. It's pumpkin pie savory. No, it's gonna have sugar in it and like some nice uh, spices like cinnamon and stuff um, in it. It'll be, it'll be good. Um, do I have a cat corner? The whole house, the whole house may as well be a cat corner to be honest. Oh, not necessarily SG. Um, Snap, like she hangs out with the kittens and stuff. Um, she doesn't care about them being around, but um, I think she just is still upstairs from when her and I were up at my desk earlier. Um, okay. It's not a cat corner, it's a cat house. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna try to be a little careful about this. Do you guys wanna have it be bigger for you now that you can actually see something? Um, I'm going to try and be a little bit careful about this because I don't want to have to handle it too much because then it's going to melt. This is the problem with like, when I do this with vegan butter, it, um, the vegan butter melts so much quicker than like regular butter does. Um, so it's kind of a problem, but it's okay. There are more cats than humans in your house. Oh my God, you're right. I hadn't really thought about it like that. <laughs> This is a cat house, they outnumber me. Oh no. Okay. So, what's it made out of? What, the vegan butter? It's like oil and stuff. I'm using Earth Balance. There's a couple, there's a lot of different kinds of vegan butter and some of them are like better and or worse than others for different purposes. Um, Earth Balance is like a little bit more stable and less melty, so that's helpful, I guess. Okay, now we roll this out. Oh no, probably should have put more flour down. So, normally you shortening. Yeah, yeah, that's also an option. Um, I'm also rolling this out on a mat that is probably not big enough. We'll see. Um, mix, mix, mix. All right. Just for an eight inch pie plate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's an eight inch pie plate. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. I've made this recipe multiple times with this same pie plate, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You just made your pies? Oh, nice. That's good. I don't really like pie that much. I like pumpkin pie. Um, I don't like other sorts of pies really. So, oh, sorry, that was probably loud for you. Sorry. So sorry, so sorry. Um, let's see, does that look like it's thick enough? Not that you can tell, but I can. Okay, I'm going for it now. I'm gonna put it in the, oh, I tore it. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Hold on. I'm gonna pull off some of these edges that are too big so I don't mess with it too much. Come here. No, 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 no. If it gets, if it rips, we'll just fix it in the pie plate. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Guys, this was bad, this was, okay. Um, Guys, this was really bad. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Sometimes you have to do it again. Sometimes you have to do it again and that's okay. Sometimes you just gotta do it twice, you know? Um. <laughs> shh, 
it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Shh, it's okay. Don't worry. The second try is going to be better. And now the dough is nice and melted, which is exactly what you don't want it to do. So that's pretty good. Um, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Flip the whole, I mean, we could, we could flip the whole thing onto the dish. That's true. That would probably be better. Okay, everyone. Uh, welcome to the stream. I'm just starting out. Uh, if you're just tuning in, nothing happened prior to this. Uh, you didn't miss anything. I definitely didn't mess anything up. That would just be ridiculous. Um, this is my, the beginning of the stream. We just started, you know, anyway, <laughs> First try, first try. Okay, please don't break though, okay? I'm asking you really nicely to please not break. I'm gonna squish you myself. Listen, I did this the past like four years with the same recipe, so I know it's fine. Oh, hi, Miv. <laughs> Welcome in. Um, you're, you're, you're in luck. We just started and nothing bad has happened. Nothing. Oh my God, I need more flour. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. There we go. <sighs> my mat is slipping. <laughs> but welcome in. I hope you had a good stream, Miv. Were you playing Sims today? I think I saw you were earlier. How many cats do I have? Oh, I've got three at this current point in time. Two that were recently found in a sewer. Um, not joking about that. <laughs> Both the sewer cats are in here in this room right now. So I might be able to show you one in a second. I just don't, I probably shouldn't touch them while I'm, you know, messing with my pie. Oh my God, I suck at this. Okay. You can't even see me. Sewer cats make for the best cats. Yeah, see, you get it. You understand. Yeah, I also have a um, another cat that I've had since I was nine. So those are my three. The sewer cats are like five months old and they were about five weeks old when we found them. So put a wet paper towel under the mat to keep it from slipping. Oh, that would be a good idea. It's okay, I'm done now, just about. Okay. It's not going to be tall enough, but you're just going to have to deal with it. It's my pie, so. <laughs> okay, that was that was totally fine. That actually was totally fine, except now it's not really centered in there. Oh, geez. Oh, guys, it's fine. It's fine. Look. Okay, we'll just have to sort of adjust the sides ourselves a little bit. Nora even says in her recipe, if you need to like squish it, you know, you can. See, do you see that? That was my first try. I'm just gonna squish some of this in there so it's no holes. Okay, this is not gonna be like the cutest of pies, but it wasn't last year either. I made pretty pies for Christmas because those had lids. This one has no lid. So this one has no nothing to help us forgive our mistakes. That's okay. Um, all right. It's rustic and perfect to me. There you go. With this recipe, we don't have to bake the pie crust. We can just put the filling straight in. Um, so that'll be good. We don't have to worry about baking the pie crust first and like blind baking it or anything. Um, all right. There we go. That's nice, right? <laughs> here, here, hold on. I'm just gonna add some extra over here, you know, just kind of fix up that little bit. <laughs> shh, shh, it's okay. There's gonna be pie in there, so you won't see it. It's okay. No one's gonna know that it's so, well, they're gonna see the crust, but. Maybe I can try to like make it flat so you can't tell that I ripped it so much. 
No one's going to know. I think one side is going to be so thick. Hmm. Yeah, this side is thicker than that side. <laughs> I can I can see it now with my eyes. Um, now that it's in the pie crust there, that yes, one side is thicker than the other. And that's okay. And that's okay. I'm going to add some over here in a couple places, you know? What's the harm? <laughs> it's probably a lot of harm. Okay. I think it's beautiful. I really like it. I'm so excited about this. It's going to be perfect. And no one's going to know. Well, that part's pretty bad. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm flattening this. I'm going to put it right here. That's not how you're supposed to do this at all. Okay. The pie crust is prepared. <laughs> and it's perfect. And it was perfect on the first try. Excellent. Now, on to the next step, which is making the actual pie part. And that part's easy. So... Let me just move some things out of the way. Oh, I should probably also preheat the oven too. All right. How do you take it out of the plate? Oh, it, it'll come out easily. It's This is like all butter, so. Again, I've done it. I've made this recipe a bunch of times, so it'll be okay. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And then um, we are going to make the pumpkin pie filling. So for this pumpkin pie filling, we're going to use the food processor again, which will be really nice and easy. Um, and it has pumpkin puree, coconut cream, brown sugar, uh, regular sugar, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, salt, cornstarch, and then a pie crust. So it's going to be easy. I'm just going to put you over here. Okay, sweetie? Stay. <laughs> you just stay right there. Okay. Okay. Let's begin. Um, pumpkin puree. Where did? Oh, I have my stuff over there, but Dan moved it. Pumpkin puree, grade A, Publix brand. Coconut cream, not grade A, just coconut. Um, and then we need to get sugar and stuff. I already have regular sugar out, and then we need brown sugar. Kayla, I don't think Sweetie is going anywhere. Who, my pie? Yeah, they're gonna stay right there. You stay right there, Sweetie, okay? <laughs> you don't move. <laughs> okay, um, we also need cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. Hold on, I'm gonna go in here for a second. So, I need to get my cinnamon. Cloves, nutmeg, and then we also need ginger. Okay. I got them. Excellent. I already have salt out. Oh, I need cornstarch too. That'll be easy too. Cornstarch. I got that. Um, and that's everything. Okay, step one. We need to add these cans, everything, just everything, into the food processor. So that's easy. Back again. I'm not gonna wash this first, cause this is just like flour and water. It'll be fine. They'll be able to, they can handle it. Yeah. Need to chill the butter. Um, What, like the pie? Um, it's only going to take a second before I put this in there. So. All right. All right. Well, Miv, I know you didn't see it, but I used this two seconds ago to make the pie crust. So it has the same ingredients in it. So it's okay. It's okay. I didn't, I don't have like a dirty one. I used this two. I mean, I was telling chat who watched me use this two seconds ago. It's not old. <laughs> it's, I used it to make the pie crust. Um, it's not like gross. That's, that's like flour and sugar from the pie crust. <laughs> um, okay. I need to get a spoon. Okay. 
So here's canned pumpkin and we're gonna put it in there. Oh, I need the blade first. Where did I put it? Over here. Again, just has some flour on it. That's fine. That's fine. All right, disgusting. I, I honestly think that pumpkin is kind of gross. I, I actually feel quite strongly about that. So, it's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be great. So we have a little bit of pumpkin. Um, I'm gonna make sure I try and get all of this out. You've got a food processor, but you're terrified of using it. You know what? I use this thing all the time. Last night I made chili, um, which whenever I say that, people are like, what do you even put in chili? What do you mean you made chili? Uh, beans. You put beans in regular chili that has meat in it. So I don't understand the problem, but anyway, I made chili last night um, and I put onion and garlic in there. I, I put the onion in here and the garlic in here at the same time. I turned it on like three times and I didn't chop them. This chopped them and I just put it in my, so it's it really helpful. I use it a lot. And in this case, it also blended together my pie crust. Now it's gonna blend together this. So, and, and to be clear, I did wash it last night when I used it to cut onions. It doesn't taste like onions anymore in there, okay? <laughs> it doesn't taste like onions in there anymore, I promise. Um, no need to panic. <laughs> okay, um, this is coconut cream. So this is used a lot in vegan baking. Onion pie, delicious. Yeah, but this coconut cream is used a lot in vegan baking. Hold on, this is gonna make you upset and that's okay. Oh, you don't need to look at my mess. But basically what we want is like a can of coconut milk, but the chunky white stuff. Because this is nice and creamy, so it's going to help make the pie nice and creamy as like a dairy substitute. So, um, it's not gross. It's just coconut, but it might seem weird if you've not ever seen it before. Um, and it's coconut cream. And there's like liquid at the bottom of this too, like the stuff that you'd usually find in a can of coconut milk. Um, like, oh, you can't see that. Hold on. I'll show you. Um, yeah, the coconut oils like solidify. It's normal. They're at the bottom. There's just regular stuff. Um, and there's no dairy in it this way. So that's good. That's good. It's not gross and it tastes good. So that's all that matters. Steph told us that she's in my basement. Who, oh, Steph O'Sims? Hmm. I don't have a basement, so whose basement is she in? That's an interesting, interesting question. I did just wipe flour off on my shirt. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Next, we need to get a half cup of brown sugar. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, half cup of brown sugar. This I just recently refilled this, so it's nice and full. That's a quarter cup. So two of them makes a half cup. Nice. Five attic. I do. I've never been up there, <laughs> but I do have an attic. Yes. Um. If you don't have a basement, where do the mod a basement? Where do the mods live? Oh, the mods live in the vents. Brew's up there right now. So, <sighs> okay, same thing. We need a half cup of sugar, of regular granulated sugar too. So there you go. We'll start there, and then spices. So step one: teaspoon of cinnamon. That's nice. Are you Canadian? You apologize a lot. Do I? Well, I'm streaming, so okay, that's a teaspoon of cinnamon. I also need a teaspoon of ginger. 
Um, yeah, I, you're supposed to eat the pumpkin pie cold, basically, because this has to set in the fridge overnight. Um, it wouldn't, like, if I tried to eat it hot, it's going to be, like, goopy mush. So this has to be, okay, this is a half teaspoon of, nope, that's cloves. Oops, I need a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Okay, quarter teaspoon of cloves. And then we also need nutmeg. Oh, I forgot about that video of Emily Mariko's pumpkin pie. Okay, that's nutmeg. And that's the spices aside from a little bit of salt. Then we'll just mix, mix, mix this in the blender. Easy. Half teaspoon of salt. That's a lot of things in there. Oh, cornstarch. Also three tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay. You like my little spice jars? Yeah, I got these when I moved in because I have like these drawers next to the oven. So I, all my spices are in here. They're in alphabetical order. And then over here, I keep like cooking oil and stuff in the bottom. Um, so it's pretty nice. It's pretty helpful. All right. Anyway, in regards to the Canadian question, I'm not sure I could be any less Canadian. I'm from Florida. Oh, okay, I just got cornstarch all over myself. It's brand new. All right, one tablespoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of cornstarch, three tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay. <sighs> nice. Now we blend. So this might be loud. I'm not sure what it's going to sound like for you. Ready? I don't like turning it on for a long time. I'm gonna scrape the sides down. Hmm. Looks like pumpkin pie. Okay. Um, this one? It's not loud at all. Oh, that's good, okay. Yeah, the sides don't even really need scrape, to be honest. They're mostly okay. There's just like a little bit of flour up there. So I'll blend it again for a sec. Great. Do I have, oh, look at this. Snowman. Spoon rest. And the oven's ready, that's good. We're making pumpkin pie, mercenary. Yeah, that seems fine. All right, do you wanna see it? Hold on, I have to move this stuff out of the way. And then I'll show you my messy dinner top. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me wipe it away. Wait, 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 one second. All clean, no mess. What mess? Okay, now I'll show you. Baking two. Here. Pumpkin pie. Oh, oh no. Kayla, you had a spoon. Oh, that's fine though. I made a little bit of a mess. It's okay. All right. Got my buddy back. Now we're gonna put that stuff in there. So yeah, I have my Christmas decorations up. I've had them up like since the beginning of November. It's been, well, since like the 7th or 8th of November. Um, so now we just pour the mix in there and we bake it for an hour and that's it. Then you're done. This is quite easy to make this pumpkin pie. I don't know how much it, how much effort it is to make a regular pumpkin pie, but speaking from my experience with vegan pumpkin pie, it's not hard. Yeah, I'm just going to try and get this off here for a sec and then we'll pour. 
All right. Problem is, there's a hole in the middle of this thing, so. Hopefully it fills the pie crust nicely. Okay, the pie crust is a little tall. It's not gonna rise, so we might have to make some adjustments there. But this is gonna be good. All right, everybody scrape out, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. You prefer tall crusts. You like having a little ledge? I guess it isn't that bad. It might be okay. I like pie crust too. I'll like the crust better than the filling on this. That's for sure. <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about pie. I know I keep saying this, but I like, I like pumpkin pie for the most part. I will eat it tomorrow, but... All right, there we go. Delicious pie. And then we put it in the oven for one hour. Yeah. I'm, I want it to like, I don't think there's gonna be any air bubbles. Okay, ready? Hold on, wait, I'm gonna open the oven. Here we go. Come here, little pie. Into the oven. Okay. Let's set a timer. Um, I'm gonna put it for 45 minutes first, just so we make sure that we check the edges of it so it doesn't burn. And then we'll go from there. Because if the crust starts to burn, we have to put like foil around the edges so it doesn't burn, but it should be okay. Where did I find the recipe? Um, I, a couple years ago, Googled vegan pumpkin pie. <laughs> um, and a lot of the things that I bake on stream have been from the same person, but uh, it's a person called Nora Cooks. Recipes. Okay, let's wash our hands and then we move on to the bread because that is going to cook for a while. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the stream, this is not gonna be like the most satisfying of baking streams because unfortunately I will not be opening, opening, I won't be cutting into that pie today because it has to set in the fridge overnight and I'm gonna eat it with my family tomorrow. Um, and then next we're gonna make bread uh, and the bread <laughs> I'm gonna let rise in the fridge overnight. <laughs> So it's not really, there's not going to be like a nice ending for you. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> how many ovens do I have? Oh, I have, this is an oven. And then that one is, there's an oven and a microwave in the wall. People are always like, why do you have so many? And what I did was, um, I bought when I renovated the kitchen, cause you know how people can just buy like a stove top, like just the stove and they just put it on a regular counter and there would be like cabinets under it. I bought a slide in one instead because then I would have a second oven for times like tomorrow on Thanksgiving. Um, so that's why. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you some pictures, but um, yeah, that's it. I just bought the slide in one that has an oven instead of just buying a stove top. But anyway, so the recipe we're going to use for this focaccia is from Claire Saffitz uh, in her dessert person cookbook. Um, she also has a video on her YouTube channel making this. Um, and this is kind of an interesting recipe because, uh, well, A, it's vegan by default, obviously it's bread. Um, but B, <laughs> um, we have to make sure that, uh, we're on the same page that it's going to be very wet. <laughs> it's going to be like, like kind of, um, squidgy. I don't know if you're going to like it <laughs> when you first see it. Um, this is what focaccia looks like. It's like one of those that you put in like a big long pan and then you slice it and it's like a rectangle. Um, and it's really good. But anyway, well, no, all bread is not vegan, obviously. <laughs> I know that. Um, but by default, most times, unless you're adding milk and stuff to it, bread is like flour, water, 
yeast sort of vibes, you know, but it's going to be kind of a wet dough. So if you think you're a baking expert and you're like, oh my God, you put too much water. Shh. Okay. Shh. Um, it's going to be very soft, soft, wet dough. Okay. Anyway, we have to, um, in a small saucepan, gently warm half cup of water over low heat. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, Claire, I don't think so. No, 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 no. You have to, when you microwave water, you have to be really careful. Okay, you guys, don't do this at home. Uh, we'll get a half cup of water. Let me get my yeast ready too. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, my first pet stuff is free right now. I know. Um, okay. Anyway, active dry yeast. I'm going to rinse out my tablespoon measures and wash them quick because they are covered in spices. So, oh, uh oh, I just got water all over the counter. Well, that was not very smart of me, was it? That's what happens when you wash a spoon and you just let the water run everywhere. Silly, 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 Kayla. Um, anyway, it can be really dangerous to microwave water because it can, like, explode. That's not a joke. Um, but I'm not going to microwave it for very long. Only, like, a little tiny second, so don't worry. It's not safe to do that, though. If you don't believe me, you can look it up. It's dangerous. Um, but anyway. Microwave water? The kettle is crying back there. Yeah, I don't want to... I only need this much. I'm an American, okay? I'm an American. We don't use kettles here. God, the internet is so scary. The number of comments you get about all the things you want to do. Okay, so we have to, when we're doing this, um, we're basically trying to like activate the yeast. So I'm going to put it in some water um, and then I'm just going to set it aside in like a little bowl for the yeast to get like you know? Um, <laughs> so we're just gonna, I do use the kettle. I was making fun of you guys. I use the kettle and I won't right now though. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, Fifteen seconds. Let's see how that goes. But it can't be too hot or else we'll kill the yeast. And it needs to be, it needs to be lukewarm, about 105 degrees. I don't have a thermometer for us though. And we don't want to have it boil. So that's the other thing. We, we don't want to like use the kettle and have boiling water because that's going to kill the yeast. See, that's like maybe not warm enough. I'm not ready yet though. So it's okay. Hold on. Um, that's in Fahrenheit. <laughs> that's in Fahrenheit. <laughs> Oh my, not, not in Celsius. 105 Celsius would be too much. Okay. Just lukewarm slightly. Here they go again with the kettle. I have a kettle. I don't want it to boil. Shh, it's okay. Okay, we don't want it to boil. Boiling is bad. I could honestly probably just try to get hot water off the tap. That's okay. So that's half a cup of water. I know you can't see it yet, but you'll have to believe me. And then um, we need two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. I'll show you. Hold on, let me move my pumpkin man. He's got pumpkin on his forehead, poor guy. Um, so there's that for you. Here's one teaspoon of yeast. Here's two teaspoons of yeast. And here's a quarter teaspoon of yeast. We're gonna make some focaccia now, Leah. Or at least start it. Unfortunately, we won't finish it together because I'm gonna let it rest in the fridge overnight. So. Okay. Let me get this guy closed. Um, I need to whisk in the yeast. Where's my whisk? Oh. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Yuck. It's 
sorry if this noise is annoying. Hi, by the way, thanks for the raid, Miss Shaky. We're um, making bread. I've got a pumpkin pie in the oven. Things are going really well. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit there for a little bit so it can start existing. Hopefully she's not dead. Um, I'm gonna try and scrape these scrape the sides of the bowl too. All right, so that's started. And then the next step um, is to get our dough hook and stuff together for the mixer. The metal on metal made you shiver. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> Let me see how my pie is. Oh, it's really good. It's not, you can't see anything. It doesn't look any different at all. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, I was getting my dough hook attachment for my mixer. We're gonna use the real mixer today. Um, okay, uh, unfortunately, we have to let it mix for about five minutes, let it rest, and then mix for another 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so <laughs> what I think I'm gonna do, to be honest, is leave the mixer over there. <laughs> Um, as to not cause any more uh, problems. <laughs> I also have to get the other ingredients together, so we'll start that now. Um, but I don't know if we want to put it too near to you. It'll be annoying. Um, okay. Um, we need water. We need salt. We need flour. Um, this is the problem. This is the problem. Everyone in chat's gonna say, Kayla, oh my God, use the scale. And then Kayla's gonna say, eh, it doesn't matter that much. I've made this recipe before, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why did I use such a big bowl? What, for the yeast? Because we're gonna put like six cups of flour in there. So it's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in there. Um, anyway, you've messed up this recipe so many times, have you? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I need, to, oh, I need to get the olive oil out too. Let me move this out of your way, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> I just threw it. I caught it by the cord. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, I need to relax. <laughs> I need to relax. Um, okay, olive oil. One of these is open. There we go. We have that. Um, you guys, are you still arguing about yeast? <laughs> it's not an animal. It's alive like a plant, okay? Think about it like that. When we say it's alive, think about it like a plant. <laughs> like, you know how the tree and your yard is alive, fungi, it's a fungus, like a mushroom, okay? Does that make sense? Every time, every time, people argue with me so much for no reason about the silliest little things. <sighs> okay, um, I need to get my bread flour out too. Wait. We are probably gonna need to open the new one. This one's running low. Well. Um, okay, so that's bread flour. Oh, sorry, that's really close to the mic. I don't know if that's really annoying. Um, and then, I guess we're gonna be okay. Smells yeasty. I sniffed it. Um, so that's nice. I'm gonna wait for a second longer. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use the oven. Do you guys want to see a cat? Hold on. Unfortunately, I just had to get Shrimpy off his cat tree. This one is shrimp. 
Too bad you can't see his face. <laughs> I swear, I swear there's eyes right there. I promise, even if you can't tell. But that one is shrimp. Look at how big it is now. Can you believe that? When did that happen? You're supposed to be a baby. <laughs> but he's huge. He's like the size of a cat. I can try and get his sister too. Hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on, you guys. Look at this. The size difference, this little one is sunny and the big one is shrimp. Uh-huh. Why is she so small compared to him? Well, actually he's just big, but I'm sorry I'm holding you like this. But he's huge. <laughs> jumbo shrimp, jumbo shrimp. I'm sorry, Sunny. Can I get you for a second by yourself too? So you can have your attention. Look how small she is. You're just so tiny. Anyway, he's a lot bigger than his sister is. Which is quite funny to me. So she does not look pleased. No, because I woke her up. Here, you want to go back? She was on her cat tree and I took her off. I took her off her cat tree so I could grab her. And that wasn't very nice of me. Um, okay. And then, let me just wash my hands quick. Let me dry my hands quick. I think Snappy's upstairs. So, um, let me put this right here. Okay, so we have to add two and a half cups of room temperature water to the mixture in a minute. Please hold. I'm filling up, you can't see me, but I'm filling up at the fridge. Okay, that's two cups. Where did my other measuring cup go. Oh, it's right here. Hold on, now I'm gone again. This one doesn't have a two and a half cup measure line, so I'm just gonna put the extra half cup in there so I know that it's all together. You can't see it, but just trust me. Yeah, I've got Christmas stuff up right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So ready. Hi everyone. Sorry. I didn't really think this through. Like this is a recipe to do on stream. Isn't the most genius thing in the world. Can you even hear me? Can you hear me from over there? I don't know. It's not the smartest thing to do on stream because most I'm just going to like let it go in the background. Um, but that's okay. That is okay. So we have to add the water and then the flour and the kosher salt, but I have to, I'm going to do it over there. So, okay, here's what we're working with. Yeast. So I have to add water and salt and then a lot of flour. So maybe I'll put the flour in another bowl, so then I can pour it easier for you without. Okay, what is she making? We're gonna make some focaccia, look, like that. So, yeah, I like my stand mixer a lot. Um, I don't usually use it in my baking streams because it's kind of like big and hard to move, but that's one cup. I'll measure the flour based on weight so you guys don't freak out. Two cups. Three cups. And then, sorry, I know you can't see me. Four cups. Five cups. Oh my God. You asked why I was using this big of a bowl a second ago. That's how much flour we need. It's still more than that. 
still more than that. <laughs> well, almost exactly how much I had left in this container. So that's nice. We'll start with that and then I'll weigh it. How much does she say? Um, 780 grams. Okay. Um, uh, where? I use it over here. There we go. All right, one moment, please, chat. Just one moment. Oh, it's in the bowl. I'm stupid. I didn't turn it on and zero it on the... I didn't weigh the bowl first. Hmm. <laughs> this is what happens when you do stuff on stream. Your brain is a little bit like uh, spread thin. <laughs> and you, you do things like this <laughs> because you're like so distracted by, by talking to chat and stuff. Um... I could put it in a different bowl. Fine, I'll just put it back in here. And I'll... I mean, I measured, I measured it. It's six cups. I was only gonna weigh it so that you guys would stop complaining at me. Maybe it's just fine. Fine. Measuring cups are not accurate, okay? No one is telling you to use a measuring cup, but I'm gonna. So, where did I? It's fine, it's fine. It's better to weigh things. It's better to weigh things, but okay, I'm putting the salt together for us quickly as well. Um, just so we have this in the dry goods mixture. And maybe, because I didn't really exactly level it. Let me just put a couple cups of salt in here. Just in case. Measure with the heart, you know? All right. No judgment. No judgment. So now we have to mix this together. I have to do this over there. So I'm really sorry, chat. But um, I'm going to go over now, over here. Okay. Now I'm over here. So, step one, water. Step two, flour. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Um, step three. I'm gonna mix this a second with my hands just so it doesn't spill everywhere. Press it down a little. Okay. I'm just gonna let that sit for a sec. How annoying is the sound of that? What do you think? Is it super annoying? It's fine, okay. Well, we have to let that become a loose dough. So, I'll let it become a loose dough. Now we wait. Quieter than running water, okay, good. I'll take it out so I can show you occasionally. You can kind of see it in there. It only makes noise when you talk? Oh yeah, because of the noise gate. Hold on. I'll show you. Oh jeez. Okay, here's what we're working with, chat. For the time being. Sort of like that. Um, anyway, what we actually have to do, um, is put it at a low speed for one minute and then put it medium high until it's smooth and wrapping around the hook about five minutes and then we have to let it rest. So here we go. That dropped on the counter. Oh my god, 
I sort of like, I'm sort of like regretting deciding to do this recipe on stream. This is not a good stream recipe. I don't really know what I was thinking about this. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's okay. She can just mind her own business back there. It's not bad, but you're enjoying it. Okay, good. Well, the pie is cooking. The pie has 21 minutes left until I have to, oh my God, they're gonna yell at me to lock the mixer. Hello? Um, you guys, I did lock the mixer and it's still doing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. She didn't do this last time I made this recipe. It's fine. It's not, so, so the thing is, right? It's like not staying on locked. I think that's something, I think there's like a loose bolt in there and that's the problem. Cause it's not staying locked. It just like slips and slides. So it's not the recipe's fault, it's the mixer. It's a kitchen aid, yeah. I think it's fine. Except I was supposed to put it up more than that. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's not fine. Oh my God. It was kind of trying to move off the counter. So for that reason, it was not fine. Four is good. Four is good. No, so if you're just tuning in, the problem is not that I didn't lock it. The problem is that it won't lock. Something is wrong with the mixer. This is a new occurrence. I can try and show you. I can also show you what the bread is doing. Maybe this is for the best. Hold on. Okay. Ooh. Now, I don't know about you, but that doesn't seem right. Broke. Loose. Doesn't lock. Unlocked, locked. That's not right. <laughs> this, it was like this when I started. It's not the recipe's fault. Um, let me show you what it looks like though. Your mixer lock feature is not that loose. No, it didn't used to be like that either. See, it looks like that now. We're getting somewhere. It's, it's probably fixable, but um, not right now. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let it keep mixing. If you were handy, you can open up the top and see if there's something that can be fixed as well as the grease the gears. Your husband does the gears once a year. Okay, I'm gonna call my dad soon. <laughs> I'm gonna call my dad about that one. All right. <laughs> okay. You just stay there on two. How about that? This is the problem with doing these things on stream. 
If it wasn't streaming, this wouldn't have happened. You just know it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't live. Nothing ever goes wrong when you're not live. <sighs> Snappy's out and about. Hold on. Here you go. Third cat. What do you think of that now? Pretty fun, right? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> sorry, she was trying to go into my bedroom and I picked her up. <laughs> she looked scared. Yeah, I'd be scared too if I came into the kitchen and Kayla had all these cameras set up. No, Shrek's not bigger than her. Um, I actually think that Shrimp and Snap are quite similar sizes. When you look at them next to each other, Snap looks bigger because she's fluffier than him. Um, Simsy, add more flour. What to the thingy? So you're you're sort of applying your own recipe ideas into it. Um, this is not a recipe that needs more flour. It's a very wet dough on purpose. We're making a focaccia. Um, it's intentionally a very wet dough. If you were making a different kind of bread, maybe you wouldn't want to have the dough that wet. But with this one, we do. Um, it's got to be wet on purpose. So it's okay. It is fine. OMG from a book. Yeah, well, this is a Claire Saffitz recipe. She made a YouTube video about it too. But um, anyway, now we just wait. <laughs> now we just wait. <laughs> It needs to, it needs to um, mix, mix, mix for a little bit longer. And then it has to rest for 10 minutes. It even says in this, it will be very sticky, but don't add more flour. So it's kind of an awkward waiting time. I could probably try and make something else while we wait. What's something that we could do quick? Hold on. Guys. Cookies, chocolate chip cookies, dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna have leftovers for dinner, so we don't need to make anything. Um, what if we made like, somebody said snickerdoodles. That's a different concept that I hadn't considered. I've not made snickerdoodles in a long time. Hold on. What do you want? Butter, sugar, vanilla extract, apple cider vinegar. I might have used my last apple cider vinegar. Oh no, we're fine. Okay, we do still have apple cider vinegar. Cream of tartar. Mm, do I still have any of that? That is a key ingredient. Oh! Yes. Yes. Okay. We can make snickerdoodles. You want to make snickerdoodles? Why not? Add the butter and sugar to an electric mixer and cream them together. <laughs> no, I have a hand mixer. I have a hand mixer. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, um, do you guys think it's been five minutes yet? Maybe I'll let this rest for a bit. It has to rest for like 10 minutes. It also wants you to put like a wet towel on top of it while we're doing this. So I might do that quick. This is my Great British Bake Off towel. So. Anyway, it's not trying to rise yet. It's just trying to rest before we have to mix, mix, mix for 10 more minutes. This is a Star Baker Great British Bake Off tea towel that Dan's mom got me for Christmas last year. So thank you for the compliments. It's very nice of you. Okay, that barely covers it. <laughs> Hold on, there we go. You stay in there, okay? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> The thing is, you have to worry about it with this mixer, apparently, because it moves on its own. 
<laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, anyway, so you just take a little nap for 10 minutes, um, which coincidentally, this thing, the timer is going to go off in 11 minutes. So we'll just wait until then. Um, butter and sugar to an electric mixer and cream them together. I'm going to use the good stuff. If I can. Damn. Oh, there it is. It's like, where did he put it? I bought this yesterday. The good stuff. Um, okay, so we have butter, sugar, vanilla, apple cider vinegar, blood shrimp. And you guys, did you hear him scream just then? Or maybe you couldn't hear it because of the mic. I'm not sure. Um, oh, you did? <laughs> He's just on top of his tree. He just yelled. Get it together. He's very loud. He screams a lot more than any of the other cats do. Um, okay. I need to get my mixer too. Um, let me get this together. Very quick. This is what I usually use on stream because it's easier to move this around than to move the sand mixer around. And yet when the mixer was dancing off the counter, he was quiet. Yeah, he's not yelled much today on stream, has he? Okay, so I have those together. You stay right there. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this is a snickerdoodle recipe from a website called Loving It Vegan. I just Googled vegan snickerdoodles and these came up, so I picked them. Um, <laughs> we'll start here. Oh, one problem is it needs the oven hotter than the pie does. But it, we, might, we might not be ready to put them in the oven until, once, until after the pie is out, so it's okay. Um, we can just set them down for a little bit. Okay. So we, I can't confirm if this recipe is good or not because I've not made it before, but I'm sure it's good. I need a half cup of this. So we start there. Half cup is half of it. I have, oh, here it is. It was underneath the um, can opener, the butter knife that I used earlier. Okay. Cookies, yeah, we're making cookies because the bread has to rest for a minute. So we're letting the, whoa, sorry. Oh, that was probably really annoying. All right, half a cup of butter. And then we're also going to need Put this back in the fridge. Oh, sorry. Fridge, and then I need two thirds of a cup of sugar. I can do that. I've got stuff everywhere. I don't know where my stuff is. Hi, <laughs> Sally. Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. We're baking. I'm making, in fact, um, no, that's wrong. Well, no. Oh, oh, Jesus. There, you can look at that one for now. Just while I'm putting ingredients in this. What did I say, two thirds of a cup? Okay, here's one third of a cup. Here's two thirds of a cup. We'll start there. These are snickerdoodles. We have pumpkin pie in the oven. And I've got bread in that. <laughs> I have to mix, mix, mix it again in a minute, but not yet. So, okay. Snickerdoodles. Let's mix, mix, mix this. The butter is straight out of the fridge, so. This might not be the best situation, but it's okay. I'm trying to like slowly shave at it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I was like, slowly making little this is not how you're supposed to do this oh sorry i'm trying really hard to avoid hitting the the bowl with this because i don't want it to be like really annoying sounding for you there we go. 
how bad is that? Probably pretty bad. Okay, mix, mix, mix. You gotta do what you gotta do, that's true. I guess people signed up for a baking stream, so they know what they're getting into. No one thought it was gonna be quiet when I whipped out the stand mixer. Oh yeah, a snickerdoodle is like a cinnamon sugar cookie, sort of. Basically. Oh, I did just have a bunch of butter fly out of there. Hold on. Um, for a sec to like put it together. This is just sugar and butter right now. Nothing too fancy. Flying butter? A butterfly. Guys, there's a butterfly in the kitchen. Did you see that? <laughs> it, was, it was flying chunks of butterflies. Oh, that's bad sounding. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Um, yeah, snickerdoodles are very soft. Yeah, that's true. like it's pretty good to me. See? Delicious. Butter and sugar. All together. When I was a kid and my mom and I would make cookies, I would like take a chunk out of this and just eat like the butter and sugar. <laughs> that was like my favorite part of the cookie dough was just the butter and sugar together. <laughs> I mean, it's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> kind of looks like salt on camera. Yeah, the this butter, um, it's from a place called Miyoko's and it's like, it's very light in color. It's like very white, so. Um, okay, we need to add in vanilla and apple cider vinegar. So I did take that apple cider vinegar out. Also have vanilla. Look at this. I have two kinds of vanilla. One of them, I bought this. Maybe I shouldn't show it that close. I bought this at a farmer's market, like locally in Orlando. There's a vanilla bean in there. He makes it. But this is what I see as like the good stuff. And then this is from the store. <laughs> so I'm not going to use the good stuff. <laughs> but I bought it at a farmer's market. It was expensive though. Like really expensive. Um... But I thought, I thought that was kind of cool that he did that. Um, one teaspoon. How much? Oh, it was like $40 for that. Yeah. Expensive. So I'm savoring it. <laughs> we only use it for the, the fancy recipes. I don't know. Okay, vanilla. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Um, you'd rather buy the cheap stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Well, even that one isn't cheap, the one that I use there, but. Um, vodka and vanilla beans. Yeah, lots of things. Vanilla beans are really expensive. Um, but anyway, I bought it from him at a farmer's market. So if I'm going to spend $40 for something like that to a person at a farmer's market, I'd rather do that in the grocery store, but it's not like the kind of thing you're going to buy every time. So <laughs> I'm not going to use that for most things. Okay. I need apple cider vinegar too. Um, does it make any difference? Um, it has a really strong, really nice vanilla flavor, I guess. Cause it's like the real stuff. Okay. That's apple cider vinegar. Um, And then see, like, I wouldn't use that good stuff in this recipe because I've never used, I've never made this recipe before. So like, what if it's bad, you know? And then I waste the good stuff in there. <laughs> so that's kind of my thought process. Okay, I have to mix those together. Come here, guys. Let's mix, mix, mix. All right. 
And then flour, cream of tartar, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. And mix by hand until it forms a crumbly dough. All right, what did I say? Flour, baking soda, flour, cinnamon. Anyway, these are cinnamon and sugar cookies. You know? You like how I talk to ingredients like they're sentient? Have I been doing that multiple times? That's embarrassing. Salt. The cats are both back on their cat trees, by the way. The kittens. Um, all right. Baking soda as well. Honestly, I didn't notice I've been doing that. Okay, it's been 45 minutes on the pie. It needs to cook for an hour. I just wanted to check it after 45 minutes so I could know if the crust was burning, but it's not. So I will put it in for 15 more and we'll just keep an eye on it. And then that has to mix, mix, mix again. Where did this go? Um, okay. I need to continue mix, mix, mixing this even longer. So I'm just gonna let it go, okay? Don't worry about it moving back there, okay? <laughs> Just shh, it's okay. Don't, nobody worry about it, all right? Okay. <laughs> so for this next, we need a couple seasonings. It, yeah, that thing has a mind of its own. If you missed it, the lock is broken. We've uncovered that news today. So that's pretty bad. Okay, this is one teaspoon of cream of tartar in there. Um, anyway, no, it's not, it's not that I didn't lock it, Frankie. <laughs> it's that the lock is broken. It won't lock. Uh, that's new to me. That hasn't happened before. Um, it was like that when I turned it on a second ago, though. Okay. A little bit of cinnamon in here. And then we also need a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to get my other things. Um, he's just talking to us. It's okay. Life of the party, you know? It's like dancing. All right. An excuse to get a pink one? Oh my God, no, I'm not gonna buy a new one. I'm gonna try and fix it. Chat was telling me that I can try and open up the top and like oil the parts and also see if I can fix the thing that might be stripped or whatever in there. Um, and I can't do that. <laughs> but I'm gonna call my dad and see if he can look at it. <laughs> okay, I need a quarter teaspoon of salt as well. Um, I, I won't, I should be able to fix it. It's okay. Stand mixers are like the kind of thing that you can have for, for life. So my mom still uses a stand mixer that her grandma gave her. The thing is ancient, almost seems not safe because like the cord's old, but it works. So, okay. I also need to put one and a half cups of all purpose flour. Um, you're making red velvet cookies for tomorrow. Oh, that's going to be so good. One. Two. Three. Thought the stream crash? Uh-oh. What made you think that? Did something happen to it? The dough is coming together very nicely. My mixer is doing great. If I put it full cam, look at it back there. It's just going. Not Well, it's not going great, but it's going. All right. Um, so I need to mix this by hand. Um, and then add in the milk. This is going to be really dry until we add in any milk. I just got stuff everywhere. 
You're naming my mixer Franklin? I think we have to pick a different name than Franklin because my family calls Frankie the stray cat that we found and took in Franklin. And I don't think it's nice to name my broken stand mixer after Frank, you know? She doesn't deserve that. She's not broken. She might be a sewer cat, but she's not broken. Okay, this is really dry. <laughs> oh my, Arnold. Arnie. Stanley? <gasps> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Maybe it's called Stanley. <laughs> I think that's kind of good. Okay. I, I can get behind that. I'm, I think the mixer is called Stanley. I'm sad that I've never named it until now. I kind of feel guilty about that. Oh my God. We have to add soy milk to that. Well, they say soy milk. I don't have soy milk. Um, we'll add oat milk to it. All right. Oh, he was hot dog color. Oh yeah. If you ever bought a hot dog that hot dog that was that color, maybe don't eat it. <laughs> you come across a hot dog that's blue? Maybe don't don't eat that one. Okay, that's one tablespoon of milk. We'll see how that goes. We might need more. Um, Aliana, Dan is editing right now, I think. Editing the video for tomorrow. I'm pretty sure. So okay, you guys. This is not going to become a dough. <laughs> That's all the ingredients. All of them. Because my butter was too cold. I might need to add some extra milk too. You want me to do it with my hands? If I do it with my hands, it might melt more too. Okay. I, I used cold butter because we weren't gonna make these cookies and then we made the cookies. So, all right, here we go. Here we go. Obviously cold butter is bad for baking. I know. I know. But I wasn't planning on making this today. And then I did. So. Guys, I think that even with my hands mixing this, it's not going to come together enough. I think it might need at least a little bit more milk as a starting point. Okay. Hold on. Let's try that. Tablespoon more. Oh no. Oh no. It doesn't sound like they're supposed to be this dry. This might be able to mold together. I'm gonna try a little bit more. And then I'll try and mix it with my hands again. It called for one tablespoon of milk and now I've added three. You be nice to it, Brew. She's beautiful. Okay, I might wanna get, um, hold on. I might wanna get out a mat so I can put it on the counter. 
Stanley isn't broken. Stanley is doing doing their best. Stanley is one of a kind, as chat describes. Of course this happened when I'm live. <laughs> I'm telling you, nothing ever goes wrong when you're not live. And then you're live and your stand mixer breaks and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Um, here we go. This is what I wanted. The pastels. All right, come here. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, actually. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Let me just squish you all together into a ball. And then I will roll you out into balls as well. Crisis averted. Just use your hands. You know? Okay. How does baking with milk alternatives compare to baking with milk? You know, I don't bake with milk, so I don't really know. I, I think that probably the milk alternatives are very good as replacements for regular milk. It's not the same as like egg where it's hard to find egg replacements and stuff. Um, I think that the milk is probably an easy swap, you know, but I don't know. I'm okay, let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Thought the cinnamon was supposed to be on top. What, like on top of that? There's a little bit of cinnamon in the cookie and cinnamon on top of the cookie. I will actually, I have to look at the recipe again, but there's cinnamon in the cookie as well. I think you might just roll it in sugar for the top of the cookie. I'm gonna triple check on the bread though, before we start that. How long do you think it's been? I'm not sure. Okay. Put that out of the way. Um, and then I need to, yeah, you put cinnamon on top. We're going to roll it in sugar and cinnamon. That's the next step. The pie has three minutes left. It actually looks really good. That's a good sign. I'm gonna need to scoot. This dough is gonna be snickerdoodles in a minute. Okay, so next problem is that, you know how I have this thing? Um, well, you can use this thing for pie. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, <laughs> and you can use this thing to line my baking sheet. So, whoops. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use that still. Sorry, 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 okay. Baking sheet. Um, I need a bowl as well. I'm gonna put some cinnamon and some sugar in there. Okay. So it said three tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Snickerdoodles are very difficult to make, but the more you make them, the easier it gets. Oh, well, I'm making these for the first time with a new recipe and it's vegan, so. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna go. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Okay. Um. Okay. 
Let me dry this off. Just rinse it out, but there was cinnamon in there before. I don't know why I bothered, but. You know, saying so the kittens um, have not really tried to get up on this counter. They get on the bathroom counter, but not the kitchen counter. I moved the bar stools away so that they're like not as tempting for the cats, um, which I think was a good call. Okay, so there's some cinnamon sugar that I can roll these in. So we'll start there. Well, it's only 5.30. It feels like it's late because it's pitch black outside. All right. Um... You just stay right there for a second, okay? I'm gonna use this to cook them on, so. No, the kids don't try to drink water from the sink. Shrimp, he likes being on the bathroom counter, but mostly because, honestly, he wants to steal a scrunchie out of my drawer. So when he sees me go into the bathroom, he's like, oh, are you gonna open the drawer? And then he gets really excited and follows me in there. Oh, it's time. It's time, it's time. Okay, here we go. Wait, let me do a switcheroo really fast. Hold on, so you can see the pie. Oh my God, you guys, it looks really good. It did crack a little bit and it has to set in the fridge overnight. Smells like spices. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. That's good. Okay, come here. Just stay over there. I do need to up the oven temperature to 375 for the cookies. I think it also might be smart of me to figure out what's going on with the bread again for a second. So let's let's do a little move of the bread too. Whoa, sorry. The stand mixer, Stanley is hot. <laughs> Stanley is hot right now. All right. So I think I'm gonna bring this over so I can show you the situation now. You are not gonna like this if you think you know about making bread, but this is a focaccia recipe and it's supposed to be wet, okay? Um, that is what it's supposed to be like. You might think, now Kayla, that can't be so. Well, it is. <laughs> this is what it's supposed to be. And now I have to put it in a bowl with oil. It's nice and stretchy, you see that? Different breads look different. This one is wet. That's normal. Okay, so the next step is to let the dough rise once. We need to pour a quarter cup of oil into a separate large bowl and swirl to coat. And then we have to scrape that into the oiled bowl and then let it double in size for one to one and a half hours. So um, I think I'll use this bowl just because it's easier for me. All right, my shirt is really cute. Thanks, I made this myself. Me and Dan did tie-dye a few years ago. And I made it. It was a white shirt, and then the whole thing turned blue. So. Okay, move. Oh my God, the cookies need to go in the oven too. There's a lot happening right now. Okay, how much oil did I say? One quarter cup. Um, so, focaccia also has just a lot of oil in it. That's normal too. Um, so I put that in there. I'm gonna swirl it around to coat the bowl. All my bowls are dirty, so this is the best that we can do, kind of. 
Okay, there's oil in there. Now I'm gonna try and scrape this into there. Come here, oh my God, Stanley. Stanley. Guys, I can't get Stanley off. Oh, there we go, finally. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it looks like an enormous teacup because it's, um, this is a bowl for the mixer. So it attaches to Stanley here. Okay. I'll deal with you in a minute. Okay. Come here. Oh my God. I put it on top of my cookbook. Stay away. <gasps> Move it around. Now we have to scrape this out. Do I have a... No. Wait. Ah! Look, I just got this. That'll work. Oh my god. No, it won't. Okay. I gotta get this out and then in there. Sorry, that was probably really loud and annoying. Come here. Come here. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Go. In. That's good enough. And then I need to put, I need to like, Put some of the oil up on top. Oh, wait, look at this. You're gonna like this. Look at how like doughy it is. Isn't that just vile? <laughs> bread. Oh, of course there's ads playing. People are gonna miss the bread. Well, it has to rise. I'll let it, I'll let it sit there so they can see it. It's like slime a little bit, you know? It actually, when I did that slime sponsor, this is literally what it feels like. <laughs> and then, and then when I make this, so we aren't gonna get to finish it tonight because I'm gonna, um, it has to like sit like this for a while and then uh, I'm gonna like let it rise in the sheet pan and stuff too overnight in the fridge, but I'm gonna cover it with garlic and fresh rosemary. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Anyway, here's my here's my um slimy disgusting focaccia dough. Do you like it? It's perfect. Okay, now it has to sit there for a while. But the rosemary and the garlic is gonna be nice. I'll show you a picture when it's done. Anyway, I have to stop touching it. You're not supposed to touch it that much. I did, that was really bad what I just did. But I wanted to. So. Use both hands to moisturize them. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Um, so, oh, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's not a big of a deal. That has to sit there and we have to let it rise for like an hour and a half. It doesn't really, it's less about how long and more about when it's, when it's time and the bread decides when it's time. Um, it needs to double in size. So I'm going to take a little picture of this so that I know what it looks like now. And then sometime tonight, probably in like an hour. I don't know if I'll still be live by then, but I will move it off. Okay. There you go. Stay over there. Now this, next step, cookies. All right, all right, all right, all right. Little Slimesy returns, yeah, Little Slimesy is back again. You thought, you thought she was gone, but she's back. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do uh, with these little guys is to Roll the cookie dough into balls and then roll the balls in the cinnamon and sugar mixture and place them onto a parchment lined baking tray. And then we bake them for 10 minutes. It doesn't say how big 
they should be. What, how many does it say it makes? Wait. Servings, 20. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. Can I show the pumpkin pie again? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Uh, maybe I should be using like a cookie scoop or something. The problem is I only have a tiny, tiny, tiny ice cream scoop. This might be good though. This is how I usually make cookies. I don't like washing this thing, but I'll make Dan wash it. Okay. <laughs> 20 is a weird number of cookies. Oh, that did not stay together. Okay, that one is a lot smaller and I use the same scoop. I'll show you the pie in a minute. Let me just get these scooped, okay? Before I do anything else. I have to roll them in sugar too, so I'm gonna pick them back up in a minute. Okay. You have one of these for when you make Oreo balls? Yeah, I like this thing. I got this when I did, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but like two years ago, I did a baking stream from my old house where uh, it was like the, the incentive from my charity fundraiser was I'll do like a Katy Perry sweet treats stream because um, sweet treats is like a Sims three pack that Katy Perry was a part of for whatever reason. Um, and so I was like gonna dress up as her from the cover and then bake. And we baked these cupcakes that had like a ice cream scoop of frosting on top. Um, and it was kind of cute because it made the cupcakes look like little ice creams. I put like chocolate ganache on top too. So it was like a hot fudge drizzle or something. Um, but yeah, I bought this for that stream. And now I use it a lot when I'm making cookies. So that worked out pretty well. Okay, I will roll these into better balls in a bit once we put the sugar on them. This is not gonna make 20 like she said. Um, maybe, no, actually, maybe it will, or close. We'll see, what brand is it? Oh, oh, it's OXO. Everything here is. That is, this is. I think one of my measuring cups is. Huh, I just got one. But I didn't, I don't know much about brands. Um, it seems like everything I own is OXO and that's not on purpose. It's probably just like what they had at the store. <laughs> but but um, it works, so. It was less than two years ago. Oh, I mean, I guess it would have been like a year and a half ago because I moved into this house in September of last year. So it's been like almost exactly a year and I did that in May. So. Oh, this is gonna bother me a lot. There's not enough cookies to fill the rows. I can't get one more cookie out of that, look. That's annoying. This one was kind of small, so I'll add some to it. Make a tiny cookie. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Okay. Um, next step is to roll these in sugar. Pinch from the bigger pieces. No, it's okay. I'm just going to let it be. We don't need like a certain number of cookies. It's more just how it looks, isn't it? So the next step is to roll them in the cinnamon and sugar, and then we'll bake them like that. It's gonna be so cute. Make one less and it's a baker's dozen. That's true. No, it's okay. It's okay. These are gonna be cute. Yeah, they are snickerdoodles, yeah. Um, Show the pumpkin pie, please. Can I, let me just get them in the oven, Allie. I, I, I did not forget your request, but these have to bake for 10 minutes. So I was gonna quick try and put them in the oven and then show you the pumpkin pie. Um, that way we will have something to do while they're baking. That was my, my theory. Um, I just wanted to get them in the oven first. Sorry, I might've thought that, but not said it out loud. <laughs> so that's my bad. 
Um, did I put a timer on for the... Hmm. I need to remember to check on the bread at 7. I'll keep it in my head. I'll know. I will know. Thanksgiving's your favorite holiday, really? But you're in the UK and no one does Thanksgiving. Oh, I don't really care for the holiday of Thanksgiving, obviously. But I do think it's fun to, like, spend time with my family. And also, I really like cooking. Like, I think it's really fun to cook. And I, I think it's fun to have, like, a whole day of, like, let's cook something really fancy. <laughs> you know, um, I, I really enjoy that part of it. I just think it's nice to have an excuse to do that. So... I enjoy that. It's a good time. All right. Well, there's that. Tomorrow, um, my family and I, we're going to paint Christmas ornaments, which will be kind of fun. Um, we're obviously going to cook a bunch. We were talking about putting on the Hunger Games movies all day because we went to see, um, we went to see the new one over the weekend, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. We saw it on Sunday, so we were like, oh my gosh, we should rewatch The Hunger Games on, on Thanksgiving. So we're just going to put the movies on all day and just leave them up like while we're cooking and stuff, which I think will be kind of fun. So a couple of years ago, maybe it was when Dan moved to the U.S. I think that was when I last watched The Hunger Games because me and Dan's siblings, we literally marathoned every single Hunger Games movie. Like we watched them all all day <laughs> on like one of the last days that Dan was in the UK before he moved here. Um, which is kind of fun. Good vibes. Well, not really good vibes. I wouldn't call Hunger Games good vibes, but I loved the Hunger Games when I was a kid. I was like obsessed with the books. I read them so many times in middle school. Like I was obsessed, actually obsessed. I went to all the midnight premieres of the movies. Like I was so into it <laughs> when I was young. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny. Looking back on it, I felt like I was healing some of my inner child going to like read this, the new book and then going to see the movie. <laughs> okay. The cookies are almost completely rolled. Oh, I didn't realize you can't see the bowl that I'm rolling them in, but there we go. I don't know if I have to flatten them at all. I'm going to check that quick too. Oh my goodness. I almost just knocked over the bottle of olive oil. Is the focaccia ready? No, and actually the focaccia won't be ready until tomorrow. <laughs> I was gonna, um, right now it's resting in the bowl. Um, and then I was gonna have it uh, like finish rising after I like, it has to rise for a bit in the bowl and then I'm gonna put it in the pan. It's gonna go in a pan like this. Um, I'm gonna put it in the pan and then let it finish rising in the fridge overnight. Um, it doesn't say to flatten them or anything, so. I guess I'll just put it in. 375 for 10 minutes. Okay. Clock, timer. I'll check it in eight. How about that? Feels like a FaceTime call. It kind of does. <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. Okay. Um, let me show you all the pie. Hold on. I think I should probably hold it with her hot pad still. Here's the finished pie. I'll show you the camera version. The flatten in the oven. Yeah, well, so here's the, the concern is that because it's a vegan recipe, sometimes they don't. <laughs> Speaking from my experience, this is what the pie looks like. I think it turned out pretty good. The crust is a little rustic, obviously. Um, yeah, I can touch that. The crust is a little rustic, but um, it looks cute. And then it's gonna, it has to cool obviously. And then I'll put it in the fridge to finish setting overnight and then we'll eat it tomorrow. This is what it's supposed to look like. That's normal. It's crustic. Oh, okay. It's not rustic. It's crustic. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And then the bread, this is the bread. It's in a bowl right now, obviously. Um, but she's sitting so she can rise in there. It's in a bunch of oil and I've covered it with a wet towel. Yeah. People will add whipped cream on top. We'll have like, um, what's the brand? 
Is it like Ready Whip or something? The spray whipped cream that Dan calls squirty cream? They have uh, a coconut milk one and an almond milk one. Dan will fully be out loud in the grocery store saying, oh yeah, we have to get the squirty cream. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. You can't say that in public. Why are you saying that? But like the spray cans of wet cr the whipped cream. <sighs> he does call it that. I'm dead serious. Literally at the grocery store, like two days ago, he was like, oh, what do we need still? Oh yeah, the squirty cream. And I was like, stop, you can't say it out loud in public. Oh, you're so British. You can't say that. It's creepy sounding. <laughs> People here just call it the whipped cream. Yeah, anyway, it's kind of funny though. I'm oh, sorry, I like to make fun of Dan. I, I apologize, I know a lot of you guys are British, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, we can start putting some stuff away then while the cookies are in the oven. I gotta leave this out on the page. Kittens are all asleep. I wanna get them so we can like see them. Someone just gifted Squirty Cream a sub. <laughs> oh my God. Gross. Well, congratulations, uh, twitch.tv forward slash squirty cream. Hope you, hope you like it. Okay, I have to put these away now. Don't mind me. Alphabetical order. Cinnamon. Okay. And we're almost done. Butter cream is too much for you. Okay, is it the, the word? Or the food. <laughs> What's the issue there? Is it both? Okay. I've got most of this stuff is good and fine. I'm trying to put away some of the ingredients while we're out here. Squirt is just terrible. Just terrible. I brought um when Dan moved to the US, I brought with me because I, I packed like an empty suitcase to bring um, so that he could pack his stuff into it. So I basically had like, I checked a bag that had like two suitcases nested together um, and it was empty, but I checked it because I was, you know, flying to England to help Dan move. And I filled the empty suitcase with a bunch of like American foods. <laughs> um, and one of the things that I brought them, you know, the like easy cheese spray cheese. I brought some of that for Dan's family to try and they all liked it. Like actually liked it. <laughs> they were like putting it on crackers and they liked it. So, you know the easy cheese stuff? Wait, let me find a picture so I can show you. Easy cheese. <laughs> oh, gross. Hold on. Okay, it comes in a can like that. Okay. Comes in a can like this. And it like squirts out squirty cheese. They have a few flavors. There's cheddar, American. I don't know what the difference is between them. Cheese whiz, yeah. They call it stuff like that. Anyway, can't be anything other than additives. I don't know what's in there. I don't know what's in there. I mean, it can't, it can't be good, but it exists. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, we have three minutes left on the cookies. I mean, it's shelf-stable cheese, so I don't know. We used to buy it sometimes when I was a kid, but it wasn't like my parents were buying it because they're like, you guys should eat this. It was more like we would go to the grocery store and my siblings and I would be like, oh my God, please, mom, please, we want this, it's so good. <laughs> So that was a, that was more of an us thing than a my parents thing, I think. Um, okay, anyway, here's the pie. I'll leave it out so we can look at it and feel like we've done something. Oh wait, maybe I'll go to the scene. That's better. Oh. Do they brew? Oh, I wouldn't know. The cats don't eat human food in this house. I wanna get them so bad. I'm serious, There's I have a cat tree here, like by the, I have like a breakfast table right there. 
and I have a cat tree over there by the Christmas tree and like by the living room. I have two big cat trees and there's one cat at the top of each. And I want to get them, but they're asleep. <laughs> it's so tempting, but they're so sleepy. <sighs> I'll show you the cat. Which one do you want? You can pick. Snap's not in here. I think Snap, oh no, Snap is, Snap's in here too, but she's in her strawberry. I'll take pictures, hold on. I'll show you. Cat? Cat? Three cats. Well, they're not asleep, their eyes are open. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here's Sunny. This is the one closest to me right now. She's in the tree in the kitchen, in the breakfast table area. Cat. First one. Then we have Shrimp on the other tree. Can't really see him that well. <laughs> then we have Snap in her strawberry. It's like a little bed, but it's shaped like a strawberry. So you see, I can't get them all. <laughs> I probably shouldn't grab them even if I want to really bad. <laughs> but they're all in here. Oh, Snappy likes that strawberry. How many cat trees do you have? Um, there's two in here. There's one in my bedroom. There's one in my office. And there's one in Dan's office. So that makes five. <laughs> but, but... I have three cats. You know? So it's fine. <laughs> Okay, it has been nine minutes or eight minutes or something. And the cookies said they'd be done in 10, but I don't want to burn them. So I'm going to take them out and look at them really quick. Oh, these actually look really good. They smell really good too. Look. Your cat has two, but it's a castle basically. Yeah, no, I have an unreasonable number of cat trees, I know. I just, I love cats and I can't help it. So I just buy them and buy them and buy them. And now I have five cat trees. Okay, I'm gonna put them on the counter, I think. Um, oh, here, this one's like got Santa on it, see? Maybe I'll get a couple out though. So I'm gonna put it on the counter. We should put it on something. Hello? Where are my cat trees from? Um, they're all from Chewy. I think they're different brands. Like like a different company made them originally, but I bought them on Chewy. I buy a lot of things on Chewy. <laughs> um, Chewy is a website that sells like pet stuff. Yeah, those are really soft. That's gonna be good. And they flattened a bit. That's all we wanted. Okay, I turned the oven off. Pie's ready, this is ready. And the bread is, well, obviously not ready, but it won't be ready until tomorrow. So there, that's all the things. I'll show you it again. Here's how she's going. You saw someone set their oven on fire, storing their oven mitts in that drawer under it? Really? Yikes. I mostly have just like, like metal racks and cupcake tins. And I don't really use this oven that often. I mostly use that one. But that's honestly good to know. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Um, okay. Well, this actually went really well. I won't end stream just yet because I want to eat one of these before we go. But I might try and get Dan to come eat them before I do that. You left and there's cookies? Yeah, we were kind of killing time while I was waiting because the bread had to mix, mix, mix a lot. So um, I was uh, try trying to do something in the meantime. <laughs> I need to get Dan. I don't want to scream on stream for him. So I'm just going to call him because he probably has his headphones on. You mean the broiler? What, down here? No, it's like an actual drawer. Come here, I made snickerdoodles. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said, ooh. 
Okay, so he's coming. Uh, unfortunately, I, like I was saying in the beginning of stream, this isn't going to be the most satisfying of baking streams because, like, I'm not going to cut into the pie. This is where we make cookies. Well, because the bread had to mix, mix, mix for ages. Remember when we made it last time and I had to put the mixer oh, on for, oh, like... And the pie's ready. Yeah. Fun. And the bread's in there. Cool. Hi, everyone. Here's Dan. Um... But yeah, I think the drawer at the bottom is supposed to be like a warming drawer or something, but it's a drawer for my cupcakes, cupcake tins. It's what it actually mm -hmm. is, in my opinion. I agree. Okay, this is better. I just took them out of the oven, so they're probably too hot, but I wanted to eat one. Doesn't that look good? If they're, they're bad, you can't say anything about it, okay? If Taylor they're bad, doesn't like it when I say things about her. He doesn't, I don't like it when he says things that might be embarrassing. Kayla keeps going like, you can't say things that might make me look bad. Yeah, because one time he told them about how many books I was buying. You don't have to tell people about that, Dan. That's a private thing. <laughs> I ran an ad. I was trying to snooze it. I'm so stupid. <laughs> well, now we have to wait. 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 Oh, you're wearing Candidly Kayla's merch. I am. Candidly Kayla's merch. Indeed, indeed. Dan, I was telling them about uh, Sporty Cream. cream. I see yeah. everyone talking about it in chat. Well, I was saying about Why is how, everyone so obsessed with it? Well, because I was saying how embarrassing it is at the grocery store when you're like, oh, we have to get the Squirty Cream. That's not embarrassing. When you say it out loud in front of people, it is. It it's literally is. It's not embarrassing. Look how tall I am. I know. Isn't that funny? Your head's cut off. I didn't make the camera for me. I made <laughs> it for you. Stand up straight. No. Okay, the ads are playing for the next 40 seconds. I'm gonna get some water because I just realized I didn't drink any water this whole time. It's been two hours. I'm not surprised because you put it over there for some reason. I'm back. Hi, Dad. Mm. Dad, we're having big problems. Big My problems? Mixer. Is it broken? It doesn't lock. So hasn't, hasn't it been like that for a while? No. So I told dad, or I, well, they were telling me that uh, I can try and open the top uh, and then try and um, see if he can fix it so it will lock. But I can't do that. So that's a dad's job. Maybe tomorrow you can look at it. Good thing you're here. <laughs> anyway, it's, it wouldn't lock. So when I had, when I had it mixing the bread, it was like shaking. <laughs> So, anyway, he said, I fix. Okay, good. Cookies? Careful. Yep. What do you mean, careful to me? I'm just going to pull off a piece of this one. They're very soft. Are they, are they too hot? How long no, ago you'll be able did to you eat take them. them out? You'll be able to eat them. That's pretty good, I think. That's good. It tastes like a cinnamon roll. It doesn't taste like a cookie. <laughs> No, it doesn't. But it tastes like a cinnamon roll. It's like cinnamon bread. I need to set. Mm hmm I don't know if the recipe was that good, to be honest, because it, that good. it didn't come together. It was a whole thing. It didn't? No. But also, I used cold butter because I wasn't planning on making cookies. So, anyway. Oh, and I named the mixer Stanley. <laughs> That's silly. I haven't seen that clip. They were sending a clip of me saying it's fine, and then in front of it says it's not actually fine. I think it's the mixer probably moving. But that's okay. I'll watch it later. Maybe I should watch it now. Well, I can't play it out loud for you guys. I'll just watch it later. You could. No, it's okay. You finished the cookie. I was going to eat some of that one. Yeah. Well, I think this has gone really well. I can't pull it up for you because... I can't like. Oh, we don't have a scene. So I can't screen though. capture from here. I don't have like the best <laughs> setup. <laughs> yeah, the setup for in here isn't like the most ideal. It's a little bit of a mess. <laughs> I have laptop. I do have an extra monitor. One of my old monitors. Second cam, microphone, light, first cam, everything, whole island, stuff. What are we making? Oh, good question. I show you. I just finished. Oh, wrong thing. Okay. Snickerdoodles. You're funny. Pumpkin pie. That's a little warm. I was going to say, is that cold enough for you to hold? Well, I can touch it. You might not be able to. That's fine. 
Ken is so dramatic about what I can and can't no, do. She Dan, doesn't think I'm capable of anything. You guys don't understand. Dan is so dramatic about food being too hot. And too cold. No, but Dan will be like, oh my god, I can't eat that. It's so hot. And it's not even. So what, sometimes I'm like, well, I could pick this up, but it might be too hot for you. It's only ever when it's eating. I usually <laughs> ask, is this too hot for me? And then Kayla's like, while her mouth's burning, like... Mine, it's not that bad. Like, you're so dramatic about it. It's usually with cold things, like when we have pineapple. Bruin, you can't say that on Twitch. Bruce said, I'm... I'm Bruin is being very brave. <laughs> Bro, you can't... You, ha- you have to stop I saying be, negative, I, what negative if I, what men. If, what if I'm the one to submit this report? Dan, that's not even funny to joke about. I'm a Twitch partner. They'll look at mine. <laughs> 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 we love men and men have extremely high pain tolerances obviously <laughs> there's probably people here who have no idea what we're talking about oh yeah love should it. i tell a story basically okay. there was an incident that resulted in one of my twitch mods being banned for hateful conduct um for joking about uh hating men in the context of my sim not dating a man are you gonna say how long the original ban was for 14 days 14 days. a two-week ban for that for that yeah Taken down to seven days because the Bruin uh, like apologized, apologized or something, and they were like, "Oh, sorry," because mm-hmm. you're so remorseful. And it was they took it down to seven days for yeah. a first time offense. By the way, it shouldn't have even been a ban. But if it was a ban, why wasn't it a one day ban? P- these big streamers do all kinds of stuff. It's way worse, and they get no ban or like one day bans, twenty four hours. It's quite ridiculous. Whoa. Stop. Nothing happened. That would have caused an earthquake. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. That was scary. Nothing happened. Shh. Maybe it was the government. It was a conspiracy. <laughs> I had this set. The sink is right here. So there's like countertop this wide that this was sitting on. So I probably should move in. <laughs> Oops. Oh, hi, Maggie. Do you want to see my baked goods? There's cookies, there's pie. And this will be focaccia. It's not ready. It's still rising, but um, I'm going to have it rise. It's a bowl of oily brains. It's a bowl bowl of oily brains. Yeah. What I'm going to do with that, um, I need it to rise in here for like mm, probably another hour at least. No, probably another hour. And then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it in a pan like this one. This is cool now. Um, I'm going to put it in a pan like this one and we're going to like stretch it out, make it all bubbly cover it with some oil and some rosemary and stuff, but I'm also going to let it rise like that in this pan in the fridge overnight. And then I'll bake it tomorrow for Thanksgiving. Lovely. That's the plan. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun chat. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, I really enjoyed this. Did you check to see if it was cold when I said it was cold? Yeah, but I was, I've was. i been touching it this entire oh. time, so I knew it was cold. My <laughs> thumb has been on it. <laughs> anyway, um, but thanks for the raid, Maggie. It's good to see you. Oh, are you, Brew? That's very exciting. I'm, I'm hopeful to see it. Um, oh, thanks, Cherry Tomato! That's really nice of you to say. I think these turned out pretty good, think, all things considered. They look good, They right? are good. Bread cam while it rises instead of cat cam. Okay, I was telling them, I showed them a picture because Snap's in the strawberry and then both Aww. the cats are on the trees. So I was showing them pictures. I'm going to get one. She's going to steal one. Oh, no. You're going to steal shrimp? Well, because Sunny... As though Sunny's not easier to get? Well, Sunny is closer by and lower down on the tree, but shrimp, he's just so gettable. And he gets less upset about being held. Look how big he is. You actually can't see it. What am I holding? There's you no can way see to more. Sure. You can see more on this monitor, so maybe this looks like that. There's no way to be sure what it is. Hey, I promise it's a cat. It might not yeah. look like a cat, but it is. There's that one. Shrimpy, that's Should all I get my the treats. Other one? No, she looks so sleepy, peaceful. Well, so was Shrimp. Yeah, and I grabbed him. him. Yeah. Sunny! <sighs> but look how big it got. Isn't hey, that sunny. so weird? I found, so if you guys are new to the stream, I found this cat in a sewer when he was five weeks old. And now he's five months old. <laughs> and that one's his sister, also from the sewer. So I we they have a brother. We found all three kittens and we also had their mom. So 
um, we were taking care of them for a bit while their mom was still nursing them. Um, and now my parents have the mom and their brother. And I have these two. So the cat distribution system did work wonders on us. We have a large number of cats now. No, Dan never had cats growing up. His first cat was Snap. I'm trying to show okay. everyone, but I don't think you she wants go, to be shown. Be. Sorry, buddy. Well, she probably doesn't want to be held over here. She's like, why are all these lights on me? What's going on? <laughs> um, but anyway, hi, Sunny. You can't, like, in, the, in that monitor in my laptop, you actually can't see it. It's like a blob, and sometimes the eyes open. <laughs> see? Eyes. What, what are you? They're my little sewer rats. So... Well, he did have a cat that would come through his window when he was in college in his uh, one of his houses he lived in in Portsmouth. But he never had pet cats growing up. They had a dog. I've always had cats. I've never not had a cat. When I was little, my parents had a cat before I was even born. Um, and she passed away when I was 11. So I had her my whole life. Um, and then we got Snap when I was about nine. Oh, shrimp's back. Um... Oh, hi, Shanna. Is she here? I just see people in chat saying hi to my sister. Shanna, look at this. I made snickerdoodles. Here's the pie for tomorrow. And look, Shanna. This will be the bread. <laughs> it's not quite yet, but <laughs> it will be the bread. So exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, that was, our, that was our little Thanksgiving baking stream. I think I might head out because, um, well, now I have a lot of stuff to clean up. <laughs> If we're going to cook everything for Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow in here, I have to first get rid of all of this, <laughs> all of the cameras and stuff. Um, so thanks for hanging out, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, I obviously won't be live tomorrow, um, but it will be live on Friday. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Um, and thanks for baking with me. I know a lot of you are also cooking tonight, which is kind of fun. So um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you're watching the VOD, which some of you might be tomorrow, I'm speaking of the future. Hey, are you also cooking? <laughs> if I was, I would watch someone else bake. I think that's fun. I like the vibes yeah, of that. Me too. Earlier when we were setting up, I was watching Claire Stafford's video making this focaccia. She was, wanted the tutorial. Oh, I've seen it already. I've made it already too, but I was refreshing yeah. my memory, you know? Okay, now we have to find someone to raid, which... Wow. From here, maybe I'll do it from my phone because I can see it better. That's a good idea. Like, have to reach all the way across the counter to get to my computer. Um, okay. Who is live? I don't know. <gasps> I know. Oh, my goodness. My, oh, unmuted. My friend Sasha is playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> wow. Animal Crossing. I like Who Animal Crossing. <laughs> okay. Let me. Um, you could have just done the command from your phone. Well, I didn't. So here we go. Slash raid Vixilla. Here we go. Let's go watch Animal Crossing. Everybody have a wonderful rest of your night. Um, thanks for hanging out. I did also stream earlier today, by the way. I played some Coral Island earlier, if you missed it. Um, it was really fun. I, I've decided I really like Coral Island. <laughs> it's really fun. It's a really good game. I've really been enjoying it. And now I want to play it again right now. But I know that I have stuff to do because I've got to clean this kitchen. So I can't. But anyway, have a good night. Happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see you all later. Okay? Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, I didn't press it right now. Okay. <laughs> and